What's up all you anime fans and fearless shinobi, it's still Mr. Fear and we have another amazing video here for you today in Naruto Storm Connections online rank fights for your enjoyment. Guys, we're going to be talking about something very important. Make sure to hit that like button and then watch the entire video or most of the video as much as you can watch. If not, come back to it and finish it. Watch that video and then leave me a comment or two and talk about all the things that you think are important that interest you so that we can make a better you know community for naruto storm and anime in general and all that every little bit helps a lot of you are just super intelligent super smart and you you've contributed in so many ways to the conversation i'm very very impressed with so many of you thank you guys for all your support and all of your awesome feedback now we're talking about runners we're going to talk about runners but we're going to do something that no one has ever done first of all no one has ever completely talked about runners it's been talked about but it hasn't been really hashed out from multiple angles. And the other thing we haven't talked about is chasing and chasers. When I say chasers, that sounds ridiculous, but chasing and runners. So runners. And here there's dashing and counter dashing, right? So I'm just going to cut to the chase and say, this person does not have to re rematch me. They don't have to talk to me. They don't have to answer my messages. They don't have to do anything. They don't have to GG no re. They don't have to no GG no re. They don't have to do anything. They don't have to play the way that I want them to. They don't have to play, do anything, right? But it is a little frustrating when when you try to, when, when you do get that communication, see 1010 miss there again. I'm going to try to point it out whenever she does. It's, an, it's a difficult, the support is not as automatic as you think. Anyways. The difference between what actually happens and the perception of what happens. So this person didn't want to rematch me because they said I was a spammer. So we're going to talk about spamming as well. What was I spamming? They said I spammed counter dash. So basically they got upset because when they did get me down, I almost perfected this person too, by the way. So, I mean, that's fine. But like, if you notice, I wasn't actually running away from them and I wasn't spamming so far, right? I just play a lot of strong people. So I'm just, you know, I'm primed to play like really, really tough opponents. And this person is a good and strong opponent. The game is matching me up with someone around my skill level. Now, it's very interesting. That was a really good counter. So spamming, running and chasing. People like to use this word like it's like a dirty slang, right? Oh, you're a runner. Oh, you're a spammer. And you know what? There are spammers and there are runners. And yes, sometimes you're justified. By the way, he ran into that Rasengan. Do you know why he ran into that Rasengan? Not because I was spamming it. I'm pretty sure I did less than five or six. I probably, I don't even, I didn't count, but I guarantee I did probably about three or four, maybe less, right? And a lot of them are for mobility. So that one though, I purposely measure the tension, felt the tension out, and then I he ran into it. So why did he run into it? He ran into it because he was chasing. He was chasing because he doesn't know how to approach properly. See how he's just standing there and double jumping? This is a very common thing. You know, people used to, he ran into it again because he doesn't know how to approach. So that's fine. It's a knowledge check for me, right? But he see how I'm in there comboing. I didn't resing on there. I comboed. I got countered. So a lot of times you have to actually do a jitsu or some kind of unique ninja tool entry so that you don't get countered. What is that counter? A counter is punishing my combo because I comboed incorrectly. And as you can see there, I did a Rasengan canceled it and then did a counter and did a reverse where I was chasing, right? Potentially spamming, which I definitely wasn't spamming. And then I canceled it and I lured him by baiting him in. And there is a setup, right? I have a setup there. I did a proper setup where Shamaru doing good work. I'm keeping this guy off the ground, which is very frustrating for him. He probably doesn't even realize that that is part of the reason why he's losing. But see how he just stands there? He doesn't really know what to do. He's just waiting to punish me, right? And he's been punished so much that he doesn't really understand what's going on. So it's interesting. I'm not trying to be negative towards this person or anything like that. I'm just trying to explain... He definitely had a negative attitude towards me, and I didn't find that out until we talked afterwards in messaging. And that's fine, right? Um, but look, he's just standing there. Like, what I'm doing is saying, I'm holding that neutral position, and then I even go in. I even went in when I didn't have to. I have the health advantage, but I went in. So how am I running? How am I spamming? How am I spamming counter that? I walked around this fireball. 
I, I went to 10, 10 and I just easily beat him. Right. So he didn't say like it was lagging or anything. He's just upset and he's triggered. So now he comes back with a stronger team, which is great. He didn't have to rematch me. I don't think people have to rematch people. I honestly don't think they, that anyone owes you anything like that. Um, especially in ranked, if the game wanted you to rematch, it would give you no choice, but to say, you have to fight this person and you have to fight them three times. Otherwise you leave. If you leave you, there's a penalty. So the game gives you a choice. It doesn't do that. And it gives you the right to leave if you want to. And it's unfortunate that so many people get so upset about you leaving. Regardless if you win or you lose, it is a little horrible if you lose and they, they don't give you the rematch. I do feel that. But at the same time, we don't know the reasons for that. The reasons could be very different than what we think. See, he's really good. He's strong. He has a stronger team now. His team is much stronger than mine. The Indra Amaterasu is actually, in my opinion, one of the 10 best jutsus in the game and supports in the game. But it's, it's a little bit more difficult to navigate, but it's that good. Um, that Baryon Monarto is actually really good too. And Sasuke Chidori is also one of the best jutsus in the game. The blue Chidori that tracks, it's amazing. And then you also get Amaterasu, a second Amaterasu. So, okay. See how I'm, how I'm holding my position? Sometimes I will create more distance and outspace my opponent if I need to get my substitution bars back. But once I have them, I go back in. But if I have two and he has four, I will probably not go in because that means I'm just going to lose, especially when I have the health lead. So see, even though I shouldn't be approaching, I'm going in here and engineering some stuff with a support setup and all this different stuff. And now we're making our way back. We're avoiding the jitsu. It's very interesting. So very interesting. Can you do that? Like that right there, that counter dash spam. Can you do that? I don't really see him dash stopping at all. I don't see him doing double dashes at all. I don't see him doing more advanced switches and approaches. He's just kind of doesn't know how to approach me because I'm sure like for 90% or 80% of all Naruto players, he could just play like this, but you can't play the way that he's playing against like higher level players. Once you get to a certain level, you're going to have to come up with more creative ways to approach and just blaming other people and calling them runners and spammers is not going to help you. It's not going to help you do better. It's not going to help you gain any kind of respect or like relationships with other people because it's not true. So first of the most important thing is it's not true. And what does that mean? If it's not true, that means that it ends up hurting the community, right? And it ends up lowering your potential. You hit a wall and you're, and you're literally not acknowledging the wall. So then you're basically just like bumping into that wall all the time. And that's your experience. And then you blame the game. Ten Ten missed again there too. And when she's high up in the air and you summon her in the air, the spread of the hitboxes is not as generous as it looks. It is really good, but it's actually full of blind spots. Just wanted to point that out again. So he is really strong. Look at his defense. Look at his fundamentals. Is He gets me with the Chidori all the time. By the way, one of the best tools in the entire game for runners is that Chidori. And you're actually making it with that Amaterasu so that when I want to come in and combo with you, I can't because your Amaterasu stops me. So you're calling me all these things like a spammer and a runner, right? But and a counter dash spammer, which look at that. See, of course, this is what he's talking about. I have no subs. So I'm supposed to let you just attack me when I have no subs or am I supposed to do what I'm doing and keep you at bay in one of the only ways that I can or you can just call me a counter dash spammer I mean that's crazy you know people used to call people double jump spammers and now no one ever hears that I kid you not people were running wild with that term even in storm 4 when I played storm 4 like I'd say three years ago to two years ago two different people called me a, a jumping spammer and what they're saying is because I combo and then break up my combo and guard jump, that's why I actually made that tutorial on how to guard jump. It's not like, of course, it helped people learn how to do it because there was a need there for people to learn how to do something that so many people in the community actually think is basic. It's not that basic because it's like a concept that's not that familiar for so many people, right? So yeah, from their perspective, maybe you are spamming, but in the reality of things, once you actually learn how to do these things, once you learn how the game works, it's not spamming. It's 100% not spamming. But if you're coming from a different game with a different background and these this weird, wacky mechanics of Storm that are in all the Storm games, of course, 
it's going to rub you the wrong way because it just doesn't make sense. But once you play long enough, things start to make sense. You start to see the game is actually pretty pretty well balanced, especially this game. The developers have done a really good job off to the patch in terms of the mechanics. Maybe a little too good, like the Shinra Tense is a little too, too weak. I've talked about that. Um, all the armor from the Rasengas and the Chidoris and, st Rasengas and Chidoris and stuff like that is great that they took that off because there's a lot less Jitsu spam and the chakra recovery regeneration being less is good, which, which means you, all, you can't just do Jitsu entries 24 seven and you have to relearn how to see, look, I'm not even running, but that thing just made sure that I can't go anywhere, the Chidori, and it completely an, like annihilated me and pin pinned me down. I thought I'd make a, a video of this so that we can actually talk about this and try to change the opinion of people a little bit closer to the truth. I don't expect that everyone all of a sudden is going to like just see it for what it is, right? Or see it my way or see it the way in which we all kind of come to once all the, the, the comments have come in and we all kind of let this settle a bit and we think about it. Yes, they're spammers. And yes, there's runners, right? Running is basically running away, not playing the game. I haven't even said it yet. Running is running away, not playing in the game and just waiting for people to come to you. But then chasing is approaching, is running after people that are either running or not running. They don't even have to be running. They could just be a little you know, away from you in the neutral and you're trying to approach them and then you get caught with something because you're chasing and you, you're recklessly approaching and you don't know the matchup you don't know that you're going to run into the Rasengan of course you're going to run into the Rasengan you have to be cautious you can't just run out there and do whatever you want you can't just approach and chase and do whatever you want like that's not how the game works so there's running but the other side of the coin that's 50 50 is chasing and nobody talks about chasing ever in this game although people talk about chasing all the time in first person shooters whenever i chase in first person shooter what happens I get deleted. It, I go back to the respawn. Whenever I chase in a, a traditional real fighting game, I get punished for it. Guys, it's no different in Storm. This is what happens. So it is what it is. There's runners. There's chasers. There's runners. There's chasing. And then there's a, approaching in the right way where you don't feel any of that and no one feels butthurt or disappointed or upset about running or chasing or spamming and everyone just realizes oh that's what you do in that situation we can talk more about that i can show you my high level fights with tagordi and some other players and show you how we operate and when you when i break those down for you in a battle analysis you'll know what it is and how to do it hopefully and hopefully you'll be able to replicate it i can't play all of you but i can at least show you the gameplay and you can at least leave a comment and tell me what you need so I can try to help you out if possible. If I can't, I can't, that's fine, but I'm, I'm trying all the best to you guys. Thank you so much. Much love to you guys and hope you have a fantastic day and amazing day. If not, hope it gets better for you soon.